But there we have it. I am riding a CSX SD40-2. A really, really basic 1 to 1 scale version of this. Look at that. It is actually turning the corner. Yeah, the thing about this mod, it's like sometimes it just like goes wacky crazy. Alright, that is fail. <laughs> oh, whoa. Holy. Are you kidding me? Let's go, go, go. Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, so. It is multi-track drifting. <laughs> Look at that. I didn't even expect this to happen. Hey, what's up guys? It's Crafty Fox and welcome to another Minecraft train video. So today I'm going to be testing out the crate mod. This is basically a mod where you can actually make functioning moving trains in Minecraft, or at least that's why I think it is. And I have a couple of materials right over here. I got super glue on my left hand um, and a bunch of materials. So I've been watching this tutorial by Polar TT. And hopefully, if this all goes well, we're going to make this one-to-one -one scale train actually moving on minecart rails. And yeah, let's get started. So first off, I think you'll need a couple of these blocks, like a cart assembler. This is not a tutorial, by the way. This is just me experimenting what actually works. So I guess I'll just put this in the middle of this bogey, like that, and middle of the bogey in the back, right around here. And then um, since I have uh, super glue in my left hand, that means I can, it automatically like super glues everything together. So I'm going to try to build this. <laughs> All right. So we have a basic locomotive here and it's like hovering above uh, these minecart holders, I guess. What are they even called? They're uh, cart assemblers. So I really, really hope this super glue thing, it like turns invisible because this looks really bad. It's all like gooey and stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's put in, I believe we're going to put in the minecarts. We can grab that. Let's put that inside. And put in another one in the back one. Like that. And then I believe we need a lever to like pull them down or something like that. Oh, let's see. Oh, whoa. Holy cow. Um, This whole thing is tilting, so damn, it destroyed the rail here. Are you kidding me? And the signs just popped off, so I guess signs don't actually work with these builds. But there we have it. Train on a diagonal. Let me try to put the cart assembler again if this actually works. I have no idea. How about we put like two of these guys close to each other? And what else? Oh yeah, we need a coupling. Let's couple this thing together, see if that works. Pull that down. Put some coal in it. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Oh, moved a little bit. Whoa, whoa, it's moving now. Oh, no. It just left half the build. No. That's like the only part of the build where the engineer actually sits. But we've got it moving for once. All right, so I'm going to do another test. So right now I have a loop of track instead of just a straight line. And I'm going to be trying to make a really, really simple uh, train. So I got like these two car assemblers here. And I'm just gonna like connect them together, the super glue all the way across. Let's see if like this lamp is okay with this. Alright, so once we have that down, I believe we add in like a mine cart. Uh, maybe one for furnace. Let's add that right there. And another mine cart in the back here. And let's add in a lever. And then I guess. Go lever on the other one. I don't know how this exactly works. So I can pull that out. Okay, they're both connected now. All right, so this it's actually working uh, pretty good. It's in one piece. Let's see how it handles this really sharp corner. <laughs> really dangerous. Oh no, we ran out of fuel. Let's go, go, go. All right. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, so it is multi-track drifting. <laughs> Look at that. I didn't even expect this to happen. And it just gets stuck in the cart assembler. So I guess like once you finish the build, you just get rid of the cart assembler and then that takes away the block as well. And it just went through the other one apparently. Yeah, definitely if you're making this, you need like a, okay, it went through that pretty smoothly. But you need like an accurate turning radius, just like in real life. So this is actually pretty realistic. It's a little flickering. But yeah, you can stand on top of it. And yeah, we just made a multi-track drifting um, black car. So yeah, that this is my test one. I don't want to make it too complicated. So let's get like the mine carts again. Uh, one of these furnace ones. 
Another with a mine cart. So let's add. I wonder if we can make them both furnaces. Let's test that out. Uh, like that. And also I'm going to make another. I need like another rail car. So it's pulling something. Make a really simple flat car like that again. Add in some mine carts here. Alright, the couple then. Let's get a lever. Pull this down. Alright. And that totally failed. That is a flop. Alright, that is fail. <laughs> it's funny, like it breaks right here in the middle, the bedrock just popping off. I guess the physics for this is kinda hard. Alright, so I guess once you delete that minecart, oh, the build just it's actually intact somehow. Uh this thing it went to the ground. How about we just put a regular minecart there? Okay, what the heck? It just left the Alright, so bedrock, it's always the block that always gets left behind, so probably you don't use bedrock in these builds. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna try this again. Got a super glue, and I'm gonna try to make the general shape of this. This time, just trying to get it in the center of gravity, right above it, so it doesn't like sag off to one side. Pull this lever down, pull this lever. Okay. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, like that. So it is, it's still upright. So I'm going to add in some coal, a lot of coal. And as you can see, it's moving quite well. So this is a successful test. You just need to make it balanced, I guess. Yep, it's just going around the curve. And if I switch to BSL, the shader looks a little nicer. Um, so yeah, this test is successful. So I'm going to build another cart assembler right there. And we're just going to see if like we can attach a rolling stock to the build. I'm gonna make it out of grass blocks. You're gonna place down mine carts underneath of it. Okay, no. Was this already activated? Turn this off. So we got this working. Now we just need to attach it to the other one. So I don't know. I think it's over there. It's sort of like a giant entity. So let me get some coal to fuel this the other direction. Okay, no. I did not want to go it that way. It's going anyways, so um, I just want to attach these two guys together. I wonder if it can do a push. I'm not sure if it, if it can, uh, but let's see if it can do that. I really hate this super glue. I have to remember to not use it. All right, it's going, it's going, it's going. We need the coupler here. I'm going to try to attach it. There we go. All right, so it's coupled together. Um, so now it's stopped, so let's go try to do that way. All right, it's working. So we got, uh, <laughs> the pseudo locomotive and the dirt boxcar, and then it start, it's starting to act weird, as you can see. And in the tutorial video that I watched for this, uh, the, that was actually what was happening. All right, I got out, and it is still, it's like even more messed up than before. Uh, probably because, like, this curve is really awful. All right, so we got our basic locomotive here. Test run. See if this works, because there's a high possibility this is all going to fail on my face. Let's see if this actually works. Got a furnace minecart here. Placing it underneath. All right, and then we need to get our coal. All right, so let's uh, power this up. See what happens. Fingers crossed it works. All right, it's working, it's working, it's working. Good, good, good so far. Actually, it's going backwards, so I don't want that, but um, it is working. If this is working, then that's good. All right, so balance is very important with this build. Now I'm going to add in some coal so it's actually going the right direction, hopefully. If I look this direction, it should move. Nope, not moving at all. Better not be stuck. Okay, now it's moving. All right, so we got our locomotive on the move. <laughs> the CS6 run away. 888 eight, eight. actually that was a uh, YN uh, 2 but this is the uh, dark future I was calling this a YN 2 the whole time wasn't I this is the dark future all right now it's doing some weird stuff oh no it's it's totally off the rails literally off the rails but there we got a, a functioning mine cart mine I don't even know what to call this a locomotive in Minecraft that works that is a build and I know people have been like wanting to see this in Minecraft for a really long time, so the create mod 
it's an awesome mod so you can have these functioning um, trains I guess it's really hard to move it's like really jittery It'd be cool if like you can control the speed but there we have it I am riding a CSX SD40-2 uh, really really basic one to one scale version of this uh, but it is better to do it one to one scale because the human uh, proportions of Minecraft this is closer to one to one than 1.5 to one um, so yeah, there we have it. We have a locomotive. It's on the move. It's working fine. You could probably add in some even more details to this. Look at that. It is actually turning the corner like that. Functioning SD40-2. Alright, so I'm going to try to make this train go like stop. So I'm going to get rid of that. Got our runaway minecart. Oh no, stop. Alright, so I'm going to try to make a simple BNSF covered hopper like the one over there. Let's add that. Connecting these two pieces together. Alright, so we got our very simple design. Let me add in also the BNSF logo here on the side. Just to add a little bit of detail. Now, this is not supposed to win any awards or look cool. It's just as a test to see if this actually works. And that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna couple this later. So it's gonna be unpowered. All right. So we're gonna use the regular mine carts for this. Hopefully it's not gonna topple over. I don't think so. Uh, let's just activate this first. See what happens. And uh, let me try to delete these rails here so it doesn't go flying out. All right. There we go. Oh whoa! It just split in half. I did not want that to happen. This is terrible. All right, I'm gonna move it. All right, so it's moving way too fast. It's the unstoppable train. Oh no, this is horrible. That's not what I wanted at all. How do you make this thing stop? Oh no. Okay, now good, good. It's split apart. That's good. So we got the mine cart, and we got the locomotive, but it's a runaway mine cart right there. It's going along the line the wrong direction. I'm gonna try to move. Yeah, it sort of just like slid off the tracks here. I don't know what happened here. Uh, can this go back on the tracks, please? The problem with coal is that it just goes way too fast. Alright, so we got it back on the track. Miraculously, I've, I'm pretty surprised that actually worked. So I have an idea. What if I just move this guy backwards? Go. Go locomotive. I need to make this locomotive go in the front of this hopper. Hey, what's up guys? It's Crafty Fox, and I am moving on a CSX SD40-2. That is uncontrollable. How do you exactly stop this minecart train? Okay, so I have an idea. What if I just derail it? That's the only way. Just like in real life, you have to derail a train sometimes. Yes, I'm gonna have to derail it right around here. There we go. Okay. Stop. Finally, it stopped. Coming around the bend, you know, I'm gonna not take any more chances with this. I'm gonna try to couple it farther away. There we go. <laughs> Finally! Finally, it's sort of connected. Woo! So there we have it. We have our CSX and our covered hopper with the BNSF logo only on one side. All right, so once we have that done, I'm gonna try to make this go forward. It's this whole video, all I wanted to do is make a simple train and then just to do that. It's a bit complicated. Now it's going the wrong direction here. Make it go the other direction, go that way. All right, finally, it's going the right direction. Nope, it just wants to go the other direction when you go this way, so... Let me turn on these powered rails now that we have it functioning. Alright, if I just like stand on this like coupling, and then I just click on this uh, furnace, it actually goes the correct direction. Uh, so yeah, we finally have the CSX train on the move, going the right direction. The spacing between the cars is a bit far, but... You know, it's just like a pain to get this properly working. Yeah, the thing about this mod, it's like sometimes it just like goes wacky crazy. So there we have it. It's going sideways now. <laughs> Before it's working just fine though. But you know, minecarts are like a little finicky, especially like... Oh no. Like it'll be working for a couple of times and then it'll just be like spazzing out. Now they're all like into each other. Literally, but yeah, that's pretty much it for my review of the create mod having a functioning CSX SD40-2 is pretty fun 
but this mod is a little too buggy for my taste. Maybe if like you added some other things that I don't quite know about. Uh, like I think I was watching this tutorial. This guy added some kind of wheel, so it kind of stays in the same uh, place and is was working just fine. So maybe it just needs some practice to getting used to all these things. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you want to test out this mod, I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description. You'll need to download Forge as well to uh, make this work. Uh, but yeah, if you guys do enjoy the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you had already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.